The tradition of the White House Correspondents' Dinner is a long one. Journalists, presidents, cabinet members, lawmakers and diplomats have shown up for decades and demonstrated that even though we have vastly different roles, government officials and reporters can come together for one night. Tonight looks a little different, but the values that underpin this dinner have not changed. In fact, I think they've been reinforced. We are here to celebrate good journalism. We are here to celebrate the press, not the presidency. And I am happy to report for anyone who's interested that this dinner is sold out. <laughs> But what we celebrate tonight is bigger than a dinner. This may get a lot of attention every year, but the work journalists do every day is what is important. And as people in this room know, but perhaps some in the American public do not, the White House Correspondents Association works every day to stand up for freedom, for press freedom, and advocate for journalists' ability to do their jobs. We do that with every White House, regardless of who's president and regardless of whether he's a Democrat or a Republican. <laughs> president Trump's White House is no different. We have worked very hard to build a constructive relationship with his press team. And there are clear dividends from those efforts. The press is still in the White House briefing room and we are still on Air Force One. In fact, press access under President Trump has been very good. With all of the tension in the relationship, that aspect is often overlooked. We have had several press conferences, repeated opportunities to see and report on the President's meetings, and with at least one notable and lamentable exception, good access to briefings with press staff and senior administration officials. Nevertheless, we cannot ignore the rhetoric that has been employed by the president about who we are and what we do. Freedom of the press is a building block of our democracy. Undermining that by seeking to delegitimize journalists is dangerous to a healthy republic. It is our job to report on facts and to hold leaders accountable. That is who we are. We are not fake news. We are not failing news organizations. And we are not the enemy of the American people. The WHCA is proud to stand up for all of our members. An attack on any of us is an attack on all of us. At previous dinners, we have rightly talked about the threats to press freedoms abroad. Tonight, we must recognize that there are threats to press freedoms here in the United States. We must remain vigilant. The world is watching. <laughs> Thankfully, we are not alone. The outpouring of support for the WHCA has been heartwarming. 
And having journalists Bob Woodward and Carl Bernstein here tonight is an outstanding symbol of that support. Thank you, Bob, Carl, Elsa, and Christine for joining us. Just as Woodward and Bernstein inspired generations of journalists, we hope the work the White House Press Corps is doing will inspire our successors. And we are delighted to support the next generation of journalists with our scholarship program, which we are raising money for tonight. As the video so beautifully showed, scholarships matter. And having spent some time already with this year's group of scholars, I can tell you the future of our profession is in good hands. And with that, I'd like to invite scholarship chairs Julie Pace and Zeke Miller to the podium as we present to you this year's WHCA Scholars. <laughs> 